Bora TV. The world is thinking. But here's how to take this even to a, a further extreme. This is a group of scientists from Sweden who did the same, who translated this paradigm to making a choice. Okay? And this blows my mind every time I, I think about it. So here's the experiment. Uh, they, they got people to come into the lab and they showed them uh, many, many pairs of pictures of women. Uh, like that, right? And they asked them, which one of these two women do you find more attractive? And people pointed, in this case, this one, okay? And they did many, many of these trials. On some of them, what they did is they took it one step further and they slid the picture they just chose toward the subject and he picked them up and said, uh, and was asked, so can you tell me why you picked this person? So they were asking to justify a choice, right, that they made. But they actually used sleight of hand, and this is why I love this paper, sleight of hand is part of the experimental method section, right, uh, to switch the photo that they were handing to the one that they didn't pick, right? <laughs> so now these people are in a weird situation because they choose which one they like more, and then they pick up that photo and it's the one they didn't choose. And they're asked, can you tell me why? Right? So now they're asked to, to justify a choice they didn't make. Think about it for a second. Okay. So first of all, they, they control for a lot of variables, one of which was how similar the, the two women were. And in this case, it's a high uh, dissimilar pair of people. But none of that made any difference. The results were consistent across the board. And, the, uh, and of course, there's a couple of things that influence the rate of detection here. Because if you, met, if you happen to notice that they switched the picture on you on the first trial, then you're more, much more likely to pay attention to that switch for the trials to come, right? So, but even, even given the, the benefit of that, um, there's another thing that can influence how good you do, and it is how much time do you have to make this choice? And so they were given either five seconds, seven seconds, or as much time as they wanted. Of course, the rate of detection was highest in the group that got to take as much time as they wanted to make that choice. So under the most favorable conditions possible, the rate of detection was 23%. Okay. So 77% of the time, people missed the fact that they had been switched. They, they were looking at a photo that they didn't choose. And so that's consistent with the change blindness effect. But the most interesting part is what happened when they asked them, so why did you choose this person? Because now they were talking about somebody they didn't choose. But they came up with all these reasons, right? They just started talking about because of this, because of that. And now the experimenters thought, well, maybe they were just given the reason for the choice they did make, but they just applied them to the wrong image, right? But that's not the case because a lot of the reasons that they gave were specific to this photo. For example, in this case, she's radiant. I would rather have approached her at a bar than the other one. I like earrings. Now the one he actually chose did not have earrings, but this one does. So this was such a strong effect that um, the experimenters basically said what these people are doing is confabulating reasons for, for making a choice. And maybe this is just the way that we do it all the time. We just confabulate, we make choices based on who knows what, and then when asked to justify them, we just come up with stuff on the spot, right? <laughs> just that normally we come up with stuff about the right choice. And in this case, it's about the wrong choice.